Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new video. It is me, Desiree, and I join you here fresh out of the shower, wet hair and everything, because I want to share my morning skincare routine. Uh, my skin is dying right now, though, because I sat down to record this a few minutes ago, and then my dog like started making all kinds of noise and really wanted to go outside. So I took him outside, and now I'm back, and my skin's like, come on, give me something. I did spray on a little bit of this toner, the Breath of Fresh Air toner from Lush, just to put something on my face while I went outside, uh, but it's it's completely absorbed now, so I need something. Um, but before I show you all the products I'm gonna use, I did put on a mask this morning, uh, the Innisfree Pore Clear Clay Mask. I love this mask, definitely one of my all-time favorites. It's a clay mask, you know, one of those ones that's meant to kind of keep your pores clear and keep you free of blackheads and stuff like that. And I love this one because it works, but, one caveat, it works with regular use. It's not just gonna be like a once a month mask and suddenly all your blackheads are gone and your pores are super clear. It's a mask that you need to use all the time. I find when I use it three to four times a week, my skin is as clear as it'll ever be. I absolutely love this stuff. So I put a big layer of it on and then um, I wash it off in the shower because this is one of those masks that you have to kind of rinse forever. I do have a little thing that I got at um, the Dollar Tree. It's just a cellulose sponge that they cut into a circle, um, but it helps wash off that mask a little bit. Um, or use like a hot, like a wet, warm cloth and try to, you know, wipe it away at the sink. But I like rinsing that off in the shower just because it takes a long time. Um, it is a clay mask, so it does dry down. I leave it on about five minutes and then I can kind of feel it get a little bit tight and then that's when I know rinse it off. But I love this one. I use it all the time. I think it's, it's um, definitely one that works with regular use. So let's move on to the essence. So the one I've been using every day is the Nine Wishes Ampule Essence Collagen. I mentioned this in my favorites video yesterday, I think, or no, when did I put up that favorites video? Saturday. I mentioned it in my Saturday favorites video. So I just get a couple of drops, just like this, kind of mix it between your hands, and then I like to pat it on my face. Normally I do my skincare like down to here, but obviously I'm wearing a, a sweater today, so we're just gonna take it onto the neck. But I like this one a lot. Has no fragrance, no oil. Just a really, really lovely essence. Not that oil is a bad thing in a product, but this one's just, it's just a nice essence. No fragrance, I guess. And then I love this. I also mentioned this in that favorites video. It's the plant-based nature solution hydrating bamboo water. This one does have some oil in it, as you can see, so I like to shake this up. And then I get um, a couple of, my nose was itchy all of a sudden, a couple of drops, or I don't know, a few drops. It's like about the size of a nickel. And then I pat this on my face. Mmm, that feels so nice. Um, that little bit of oil that's in there, it doesn't make it oily. It just makes it have this nice little slip to it this extra little nourishment, and I really, really, really like this one a lot. I can't believe how much I love it. This one did come with, no, no, it wasn't this one. I'm, I'm thinking of something else. One of the other toners I have came with some cotton pads, but I like to use toner and essence just with my hands. I think it, I don't know, just kind of works better for me. Next, we're gonna do some eye cream, the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Eye Cream. One of my all-time favorites. It's an oldie, but a goodie. It really, really works. With continued use, of course, um, I use this every morning. And once I run out of this, I'll move on to something else. But I always come back to this because I feel like it actually works. It makes a difference. You will see an improvement, but of course, with regular use. And that's really the key, I think, with skincare and to see a difference with any skincare product you're using. You got to use it all the time. And I know sometimes it's hard to want to use it all the time, especially if it's like an expensive product or something like that. But you're not gonna see the full benefits of that thing unless you're using it all the time. So use your eye cream all the time. Next up is some vitamin C. This is the Inky List, 15% vitamin C and EGF. I really, really like this. Even though it's 15%, it doesn't irritate my skin at all. And I love that it's in an airless pump. I kind of like do one pump and then half of a pump. And then I just pat this on too. I almost lost it there. Do you see it fly right down my hand? And I never, I like vitamin C, but I had never really used one regularly. Um, and I just started doing it this year. And I swear with everyday use, vitamin C makes the biggest difference in your skin. It's crazy. So 
I'm all about the vitamin C now. I really, really like it. Um, I find that when I use it every day, it makes a really big difference. Oh, this is the next product. This is from Good Molecules, Niacinamide Serum. Another thing I just started using this year with regular use. Um, I feel like something like this I would have used just here and there, uh, but I started using vitamin C and niacinamide every single day. And I feel like it's made the biggest difference in like the evenness of my skin and just keeping it kind of, uh, I don't know, just even and, and bright. I like it a lot. This one I do three drops. And kind of just pat it around. And then I'm gonna go for a serum. Another serum, I guess. The Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. So I just used up the uh, Beekman serum I was using. I really, really liked that, but I already had this open, so I thought I would just start using it. I have a tickle right here. Um, and I love this stuff. So I used to use this all the time years ago. They always had it as a point perk, as a sample. It came in like every Sephora favorites thing. And I really, really like it. And I hadn't used it for a long time though. And recently I got another little sample at this one here. And when I started using it, I just felt like all this nostalgia, you know, rush over me. There's something about the scent of it that it just took me back right away. It just smells so nice. It smells like a skincare product, not like perfumey or anything like that. But I really like this stuff. Um, something I've always wanted to buy in a full size, but I probably never will because I think it's probably a million dollars. All right, last step is moisturizer. I know you're probably surprised there aren't 15 steps in this routine. If you happened to watch my um, nighttime skincare routine, you know I love my products, I love a million steps. But for daytime, I try to keep it light because I put makeup on pretty quickly after I finish my skincare and I don't wanna have like a ton of layers waiting to sink in and stuff, so it's a pretty light routine in my, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to be using the Milani Aqua Bloom. Uh, you can kind of see it. The Milani Aqua Bloom Hydrate Replenish Water Cream. Like, look how much of this I've used. I love this moisturizer so much. I did a video where I talked about um, the Milani skincare products I have and if they're any good. And I really like them. I love this moisturizer too. It just has the nicest texture. It's thin, but rich at the same time, but not heavy. It's just so nice. Like I've never used a moisturizer with this texture before. I think it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, and that's it, that's my whole routine. I am gonna put some sunscreen on, but I, I kind of wait to put the sunscreen on until I'm either going to put makeup on, then I'll put it right before. But sometimes if I'm just gonna be at home for like a few hours before going out, I don't even bother. And some days I just don't feel like it. I know you're supposed to wear sunscreen every day, but sometimes I don't feel like it. And today, maybe I'll put it on, maybe I won't. But this is the, the routine I've been doing every single day lately for the last few weeks and I love it. I love all these products. I love that moisturizer. Oh my God, I can't get over it. But yeah, that is it. Let me know what you think of these products. Have you tried them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know what your morning routine is. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I'll see you later in another video. Uh, goodbye.